What's up metalheads? My name's Jamie. This is the Blades and EDC channel and today I'm going to do something a little bit different but before we get into it uh, if you're new here subscribe. Uh, make sure your notifications are turned on. Drop lots of cool knife videos and uh, do knife sales and you know make sure your notifications are on so you don't miss out on anything and uh, to all you guys who are already subscribed thank you all so much. I really really appreciate it. You're the best. You're the only reason I keep making these videos and the channel's growing faster than ever right now so that's that's really really cool and it's all thanks to you guys if you guys didn't watch the videos and comment and like i probably wouldn't keep doing this and i really enjoy doing it but you know it's thanks to you guys that i do it um the channel's growing quickly uh and we're gonna hit my next giveaway soon which is gonna be at 750 subscribers and then we'll do a bigger giveaway at 1,000. So my goal is to hit 1,000 by the end of the year. I think we're going to make that. I think we may even come in at 1,000 a little earlier. If you hear a lawnmower in the background, I apologize. I cut my grass this morning. Now the neighbor's cutting the grass. So cutting his grass. So I apologize. Bad timing. Every Sunday, and I make a video, there's somebody cutting the grass in the background. But uh, so just wanted to let you guys know that. And also, if any, anybody watching would like to send in any stickers or anything for the giveaways, uh, you can email me at bladesandedc at gmail.com or DM me on Instagram. Uh, like, Q-Ball sent in some stickers. So a couple of these will go out in the giveaway. And uh, i got a bunch of other stickers and stuff I'm going to be putting in the giveaway uh, for the 750. But if anyone wants to donate anything at all to the 750 or the 1,000 subscriber giveaway, reach out to me by email or DM me on Instagram. All right, today I'm going to do something a little bit different and kind of go over uh, some stuff you're going to see on the channel in the near future. Do a preview, basically, some stuff you're going to see. And I also want to throw out there, um, the next knife sale will be September 2nd, right? Well, they go live to patrons on September 2nd and everyone else on September 3rd. So if you guys have watched the couple of unboxings I did uh, for the live streams I did where I unboxed knives for the knife sale, if there's a knife that you saw in there that you're interested in buying that you want to see an overview of, uh, leave a comment down below and I'll, I'll move it up the queue. Um, so I, I thought, you know, that way if it's something you're interested in, I can give you a closer look at it and give you more details about it and let you see everything up close and personal and uh, give you my opinion and thoughts on it. And so yeah, comment below with that, and uh, I'll get that. It'll skip the queue, so I can move it past some of the other stuff I've got planned to do here. So some of the stuff you're going to see on the channel in the next week or so, uh, you're looking at a lot of it. Um, you're going to see the three Protects here, the TR3. I'm going to do an overview of. Auto. Really like this knife a whole lot. Wish I could carry automatics. This is the hardest, best firing automatic I've ever felt. Just so good, so good. So you're gonna see the TR3. You're going to see the Mordax. So I'm trying to get a lot of stuff that's in the sale done first, right? The Mordax will have an overview coming this week. The Malibu will have an overview, overview coming this week. I see what all the fuss is about with uh, Protex button locks. They are definitely on a different level than Kaiser or Civivi or Wii even. They feel better than even Wii in my opinion. Yeah, big fan of Protex button lock. So we'll be doing overviews on those three this week. Uh, two Monterey Bay knives I will be doing overviews this week. The Ray Laconico Slayback and the Ray Laconico EWC. So really like both of these knives. I do have a a gripe about each of the knives one each I've already figured out and uh, so I'll go over that during my overview videos but I'm a big fan of you talk about a good EDC size knife this is it right here very similar looking knives all these uh, Monterey Bay knives looks like look very similar so at least the uh, Ray Laconico's scales always look similar but they're like that for a reason and they sell so well for a reason so he's doing something right so you will be seeing overviews of both of those knives this week. Uh, you're gonna have you're gonna see a versus video next Sunday. I had my versus episode four come out today that put the uh, 
Christians and knife, I cannot say Christians and for some reason, Christians and Knife Works uh, Maverick S against the Brian Brown Jaeger. That came out today, so that's when I'm making this video on Sunday. That was my episode four. The Jaeger's changed a little bit since then, got a little color added to it, and it's gonna be going home very soon. So will the Maverick, both of those will be headed home. Although I do already have an overview of this Maverick, the micarta version this will be in the knife cell so somebody will be the lucky new owner of this beautiful knife with ridiculously good action i wish my bank account would allow me to buy it but it won't it won't priorities gotta set my prioritize so yeah um so that's you're gonna see i'm trying to figure out which verses to do next guys comment below tell me what you want versus episode five to be i've got episode five and episode six sitting out here one versus is going to be the Hogue Decca, which I will do an overview of also, and the Benchmade Bug Out. I'm going to do a versus between these two knives. Uh, comment below and let me know, you know which one you would prefer to see first. And before I do that versus, I'm going to do another uh, disassembly of the Bug Out. Um, as you guys saw, I failed miserably when I tried to install these scales that uh, were sent into the channel and by Jeff thank you so much Jeff and because I didn't understand I didn't I didn't have my glasses on I didn't realize the standoffs are ovals so they weren't lining upright with the scales that were on it so I had to fully disassemble it and then it went together perfectly it was just me not knowing what the hell I was doing so but Craig sent in these OG aluminum scales here these are the actual bug out scales I'm going to install these on this bug out so it's more so it's back to a you know standard bug out no modifications made to it because the deca has no modifications made to it um, obviously different scale materials but still make a good uh versus video in my opinion so that will be option number one for versus i will be doing both of these versus videos it's just which order i do them in this question the other versus is going to be the to your big belly versus the trm shadow this is going to make a great versus video I, I already know it is um, so yeah you will be seeing uh, those two versus videos over the next two weeks each Sunday I'm gonna try to drop a versus so you guys let me know which one you want to see first and I'll make that one first comment down below and let me know I think I know which versus is gonna win that already but I could be wrong you guys could surprise me so you guys surprise me all the time so because you're you're awesome people so all right you see these two pair pair of threes here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do a video on these or not These are sent in by Craig for some anna work uh, Gotta follow up with him. I think we're just doing the scales on this one uh, A different color because he likes the bronze hardware on this one, which I like it too. looks really really good rock scales I think these are rock scales. I could be wrong about that well, Let me look at this backspacer yeah, I'm pretty sure these are rock scales and backspacer on this one. I know this one is rock scales and backspacer, and I know what we're doing to this one. Um, we're going to change the those. These are titanium scales, by the way, uh, but they're not nothing changed on the scale. It's just going to change the color of the hardware. We're going to go to that more uh, sage green that Craig likes. We're going to strip the blue off and re-anodize all the hardware on these for him. So, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to do a video on that or not, though. To be determined. All right, this next one's kind of funny. Um, <clears throat> this is the Vastid Bellamy. This was sent in by Craig uh, a while back um, just to check out. This is not in the knife cell, just so you know. If anything's in the knife cell, I'll point it out to you. The DECA is in the knife cell, by the way. Um, so Craig sent this in a while back, a couple weeks ago, and uh, I was uh, cue ball sent in the shadows, this Kubi, and as a surprise, look what cue ball sent. <laughs> so I got two of these here. And I'm going to be do planning on doing an overview of this knife this week anyway. Um, so it's cool that I have two here and that I can tell you if they're consistent or not. If there's any dif difference in the action, if they feel the same. I'll go over that in the overview. I can tell whose is whose by the color of the micarta. I'm not, this one's Craig's. I'm not sure if he's just carried it more and it's gotten darker or if he put mineral oil on the micarta. Uh, but yeah, clear difference in the scales there. So this one's cue balls, this one's Craig's. Um, so I will be doing an overview of this knife this week. You'll see that on the channel. All right, you will also see overview of the Benchmade Mini Crooked River. 
now officially my favorite Benchmade. So, yeah, big fan of this knife. Big, big fan of this knife. So, yeah, good looking knife. Great ergos. But overview coming of that. All right, what else did I have here? Oh, the Mini Bet Liger. This is the premium Mini Bet Liger by Kaiser. M390 blade, frag titanium scales, milled titanium pocket clip. This one will be getting a overview this week. So keep an eye out for that. And like I said, some of these could get pushed back if you guys are interested in buying some of the knives and want to see a video about that knife first. You, got, you guys just let me know, and I'll be happy to move it up the list. So um, i got to make some more room here because there's a couple more knives that i got to try to fit under the camera here. Um, this next one's a pretty interesting knife. Um, as far as I know, it's the only folding knife this company's ever made. And this is made by Topps. Um, very, if this, as far as I can tell, this is the only folder they've ever made. They make, a, they're known for their fixed blades. They make some really, really good, high quality fixed blades. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna be doing an overview of this knife. This is one that you don't really see much on YouTube. So, and it's actually to be their first folder it's surprised me. Um, surprised they're not making more. So yeah. So you're gonna see that one on the channel in the next week or so. Um, one other one you're gonna see on the channel here for sure. Actually, I'll just go ahead and grab all three of these in the next week or so. It could be two weeks, but we'll, you will see them before the knife sale. The Benchmade Mini Bug Out. This one has uh, aluminum scales and backspacer. I think the backspacer is titanium. This is in the knife cell. That's why I want to get this one done. Dare I say I may like the mini bug out more than the bug out? I don't know about that yet. To be determined. To be determined. Um, all right, let's take some of these out of here now. We'll move the Protex out of the way and the Monterey Bay knives out of the way. So we got room to lay some more knives out here. All right, another one you're going to see over the next couple weeks will be the Benchmade Foray. Foray, I think that's how you say it. F-O-R-A-Y. Um, this is another one that's in the sale, so I'm going to get a video out, show you guys the up close, and uh, give you my thoughts on it. It's a beefier Benchmade knife, a little heavier than what I'm used to filling from Benchmade. So you will see that up over the next couple of weeks. Another one you're going to see is the Benchmade Mini Freak. Now, this one I can already tell you, I really like this knife. Really, really like this knife. Like the look of it, like the feel of it. This is a good one. Never had a regular size Freak in hand, but you know, it must be a pretty large knife if this, if this is the Mini. So, very cool knife. So, you will be seeing that one. I put this other bug out down. Put that bug out there. Uh, I'll put that up there for now. Uh, another one you're going to see over the next couple of weeks. Oops, sorry, bumped the camera. It'd be probably my favorite design, aesthetically anyway, by Elijah Isham. That's the Kaiser uh, Theta. Very cool knife. Good looking knife, man. Good lines. Beautiful looking knife. Great blade shape. This one's in the knife cell also. So I think that's about it. There's a lot more. You may see some other stuff pop up here and there. Um, I do have this laying out here. You will be seeing this in the next couple of weeks. I forgot to even bring this one up. <laughs> my grill, number one. Number one on my list. It's still number one on my list. So if that tells you anything, it's still number one on my list. So I may actually do, when I do that video for this, I may go ahead and include the G10 version and do an overview of both. Uh, thank you to Cuball for sending these, man. I really appreciate it. Um, that way I can tell you the differences. We can do weight comparison, action comparison, if there is any differences. Um, probably go ahead and do them both at the same time when I do those. Those will probably be, I'll probably record it next weekend. I like to have them in hand and play with them at least a week before I give my thoughts on them. And uh, so. I'll probably record that video next weekend, so it'll probably come out a week later. So that that probably be a week or so, a couple weeks out before we get that. And we got this 
Beast of a Kubi right here, which I'm not even sure what this one's called yet. I gotta look it up. It's a monster. It's a big knife. But my goodness, guillotine action is ridiculous. Watch this thing, and I'm not straight up vertical. Watch. Boom. That one will get you. You gotta be careful with that one. Uh, another one you'll be seeing is this Lion Still uh, Slepner? Sleepner? Or is it Maletta? I gotta do some research on this one. Very, uh, very odd knife. I'm gonna say this one's a very odd knife. I'll go over more of that when I do the review, or overview, I should say. But yeah, very different knife. Um, you can just look at it and tell they went a different direction with this thing. Did they go in the right direction or the wrong direction? I'll let you know that. Uh, another one you're going to see. That's not in the knife cell, by the way. This is not in the knife cell either. The Storm Viper. Uh, Hinderer design. M390. Very cool design on the scales on this one. It definitely went a different direction. But you can look at the blade shape and everything and tell it's a Hinderer design. Pretty obvious just looking at it. So we'll be seeing that one in the next couple of weeks. Um, and uh, there's some others, but I think that's enough for this video. And that's enough to keep me busy for the next couple of weeks. But like I said, if, you, if you've watched the two unboxings I did on last Thursday and the Thursday before that, they were lives. Um, and you, there's a knife there that I unboxed that you want to buy and you want to see a video and up close with it before the knife sell, which will be September 2nd, uh, comment below and let me know which one you want to see, and I will do it, move it up the queue because, uh, you know, some of these knives are not in the cell, so I want to do the knife sell videos for everyone that's interested in something first. I want to get those out there for you guys first so uh, you know whether or not you actually want to purchase it, and you will get my up-close, honest reaction, um, whether it's good or bad. So, um, yeah. All right, guys, I think that's going to do it. Um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button for me. If you're new here and you're still around, subscribe and turn your notifications on. Do lots of cool things on this channel. Lots of cool knife sales. There are going to be a lot of knife sales coming up. So, And there's more knives coming. I may have another unboxing video this Thursday. There's a couple more packages coming. I want to wait till they're all here before I do another video, though. So hopefully Thursday I may have another live and do unbox knives for the knife sale. So, all right, guys, thanks again for watching. And I'll see you guys on the next one.